moment of inertia. Hi there! Today, Ali and me, Elmer, are going to explain this intriguing and beautiful concept, moment of inertia. But before starting, let's play a game. What kind of game? Well, you need to guess. Which object will fall first? Well, did you decide who is going to win? Let's see, he wins indeed. Most probably, you also guessed wrongly, at least one right. Yeah, I agree, some of them was really unexpected. But, how can we truly decide who is going to win? What is the science behind? Let's start with exploring then. What's the moment of inertia? The moment of inertia is a physical quantity which describes how easily a body can be rotated about a given axis. Think of Newton's second law. F is equal to ma. Now, here the concept is the same, but instead of force, we have torque. And instead of mass, we have a rotational mass, which is moment of inertia. As a little information spice, we can add that mass is also shows the degree of inertia. But what is it in a basic language? Basically, moment of inertia shows how easy is it to turn the objects on an axis with rotational motion. It is given by the following formula i is equal to mr square where i is the moment of inertia m is mass and r is the radius so while inertia is little it is easier to move the standing object and again easier to stop moving object now we know the science behind the object we saw before right for an object to win it should have a little mass and most importantly its mass sh should be near to the center so why is it applied of course wheels are the first things come to mind yes ever wondered why the middle of the wheels are filled with heavy metals now you know why so because of this heavy metal in the center the heavier mass moves near the center of the rotation and it becomes easier for car to move and to stop faster but it's not the only application of course as an example we can take the art of making swords if the heaviest part was the farthest it would be so hard to move it right thank you so much for watching us we really hope that you can notice and apply the same rules to your daily life. Remember, physics is the combination of laws of nature. Laws are mostly compatible with our psychological lives as well. Stay safe and have a good day.